All right, let's get started. If OBS will pick up, that would be great. There she is. All right. Uh, God. I was looking over all the operations I could potentially do over the next week, and if I wanted to, I could be super duper productive, but there's so much I have to dev. Like, actually, there is a lot. So I'm going to do a handful of operations, then pick and choose, but first off, we're going to continue on with uh, what I have for tomorrow. So the goal for tonight is going to be to get a massive amount of work done, basically as much as I can. Uh, so, uh, D-Day, I already got all the kits made. Uh, I've got a rough idea of the AO I want to build. But from there, it's a matter of what else do I want to do? I think that's the difficult part. Uh, I do have a crater shell. If I type ammo, there's a certain ammunition box I'm looking for. It's something that can be dropped from a plane. I just have to find it. There she is. Yeah, container. Quote, unquote. Literally here, dropped in. Uh, let me clear this out and then store it with a bunch of custom stuff. So equipment storage, clear, just to be on the safe side. And now we got to fill it with everything I can think of. So 303 Bren ammo. Let's put 50 of the... Well, I'll do 75 in there again. I want there to be like absolutely enough. Uh, and then the rest of these I'm literally just going to select weapons. And then we'll bump it up from there. All right, so there's Lee Enfield, there's the mill bombs. So I go to magazines, the rifle grenades. So I'll put that up to 50. Uh, I need some thrown grenades as well, including smoke. So let's take care of that real quick. Uh, and then Mark 82s, we'll do 25 of those. Now, of course, this is like gargantuan in terms of you know, the ammo fitting in there, but this is just meant to be a static thing. Uh, so we have the Lee Enfield. I need the Sten gun. Which I don't have the IFA to Ace compatibility patch, so I need to make sure I grab the right one. So let me just check to make sure. Otherwise, I get yelled at. Yeah, so it's the IFA one. So let's open that piece back up. Hey, Bryce, how you doing? So the Stens might be in the SMG section, all right. We'll put that up to 75, because I know I'm using the Bren from Faces of War. And I'm just using a variation of everything, but I think that's it. Uh, no, the Piot. We need Piot ammo in there, so that would be that, and then it's the IFA launcher one. And then the rest is just basic medical. So from just go to launchers, PI, grab that, and then put 20 in there to be safe. And then the rest is just medical. I'm all right. Uh, it's just going to be a very long night. I've been overdue for a massive mission dev day for a while. I've just been kind of doing the bare minimum. I mean, that and video devving... <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I've got a lot on my plate, but what else is new? All right, uh, tourniquets. Yeah, I can just bring that down to 20. People don't usually do tourniquets. And then blood, I'll put some thousands in there, even though it's going to be hard to have those, and then like 50 of these. Well, 55 is fine. And that should be good. We got grenades, smokes, secondaries are all knives, so that doesn't really matter. And then we just have all the primary ammo. All right, so now the real hat trick is going to be 
getting a crater. And just kind of throwing this around. So we'll take one up there. I'll fire one off that's over here. so I can hide some of that. Otherwise, the players might have trouble pathing that. I mean, I might just let them go on their nilly little way and yeah. Because these also will turn to respawn points. Yeah, we might as well do it that way. It should be fine. Probably. Maybe. Who the heck knows. I guess the question then becomes, what else do I want to do in this scenario? I've got a pretty decent beach set up. I guess some additional AA guns wouldn't hurt. How would we want to build that? Well, let's go ahead and get our handy-dandy AA set up. So if we want to do an AA position, first off, we have the guns. And then I'll do a big flak piece in the back. Next would be sandbag positioning. So sandbags for the bigger stuff, I like to use boxes, which is just taking this and then copy pasting that until it's nice and set up. Hey, Ixtal, how you doing? And then for these smaller ones, I really do like to do curved ones. However, I don't think the curved one will work with all of it. So what I can do is I can layer it with some short sandbags. it a decent amount of cover and then what I can do is I can just kind of like set it up now notice how when we rotated that it rotated the gun too so you got to be careful about that so yeah it's always funny how that works and then I'm thinking in terms of vehicles we can have like four tow trucks I can have like a middle truck so how we can reflect that is first and foremost mg42 car since this has practically become a convoy that's totally fine uh and then ammo for one of them we can put in the back but then the other trucks we can just kind of turn over so some open ones because that's how it was towed it is literally take the little outliers off and then you know put some wheels on it and then for the bigger guns i like to use this apc and i can also put ammo in it and then we just need to put like a light gun garrison around everything. I think there's specific men we can use to make that garrison. Uh, gun crew, yeah. So I can literally just throw some uh, gunners around and then, yeah, the rest can be privates. And you know, that's our, that's our little position. I don't need to include that vehicle right there. Ah, that just ungrouped all of them. Uh, that's funny. Come on, link. There we go. Uh, and then we just need to select it, uh, set to perma standing, and then pathing disable. And we can get all that stored, uh, sorted. Uh, I'm actually gonna like purely copy and paste that. Then I can set that up over here wagon on the road. I'm going to grab an environmental module because there's some sticks in the way and everything here, so I just want to clear things out. Plus, we need to make like a little path of how did they, you know, get into the grass. It's the little things. Most people don't care, but there's always that one chuckle fuck that'll have an issue. Alright. So, 
how do we want to mark this up? I mean, the operation, it's meant to be a quicker one. It's meant to be, you know, something to have just a good chunk of fun here. Ah, uh, but we'll see how things go. Do I use Spearhead? I do, but Spearhead is... It's a nice CDLC, but it doesn't have a lot of content. And it's been out for a while, and I haven't really seen any updates to it. I mean, I touched, I think, after a year, and they didn't really add anything to it. You know? Um, so, again, I'd want to use it, but I was hopeful... Like, I was thinking by now, you know, it would have gone off of the... Uh, Vietnam CDLC route and added some new stuff, but it, it really hasn't. And it's kind of unfortunate because I was hoping that we'd have more stuff in it by now. So it's like, I don't know. I told people like, hey, you know, like they, they say they're going to add more, but I haven't seen it. So I can't really recommend it to people at the moment because they haven't added much, you know. Don't get me wrong, like, it's a really nice CDLC. It's got a lot of sexy reload animations. The gear and stuff is completely on point for what it needs to be, but it's so limited. Like, honestly, every... <laughs> it's funny, because the same dev team worked on IFA. IFA has pretty much everything in there, and everything you can't get, you can just get through other mods, like CSA 38, Faces of War, Northern Fronts. Like, there's not... I'd say it's like bordering on why people don't buy Iron Curtain. Because Iron Curtain, like all of that content's in RHS, except for like the T-62s or T-54s or whatever. There's like one tank model. I mean, it's the same way for Spearhead at this point. I was kind of hoping, you know, but say la vie. And Nesso, feel free to send it. It's fine. But I mean, here's hoping. I've heard they've got more content. I just haven't seen it. I'd love to see it. But I don't, I don't even see it in their test discord. Like, where the hell is it, you know? Like, what? Yeah, where is it? But yeah, that's just me. I'm going to make that, like, this be the rally point. I'm just marking up the map right now. So it's basically storm the beach, get up here. Clear the town, clear the space, hit those two AA positions, then rally on this position. I might set up some trenches in front of it, too, and fortify that. Yeah. Uh, Nesso depends on my mood. <laughs> but, I don't know. I mean... When I do Arma, sometimes I want to be in the zone where I'm in a tank and I, you know, just blow the shit out of everything. But there is also some value in, you know, maybe if it's like your second or third op, you don't want to just bulldoze anything. You want to, you know, take a few hits here and there. You want to deal with repairing. You want to deal with coordinating your other assets to cover you as you get hit by, you know, you know, penetrated by a tank round and you got to like, you know, repair after you're disabled. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you want to use your own ammo and penetrate into enemy tanks and destroy them. But sometimes, you know, it's, it can be fun to get disabled by an enemy penetrator round and then repair and then go forward. Because otherwise, it it starts to feel stale after a bit of a while. You know, where's the challenge? I'm assuming that's what you meant. But, um, yeah. yeah. What a weird question. I mean, armor ops are good. They're fun with, you know, a smaller player base. But for whatever reason, everyone always, like, forgets how to use their brain for a big chunk of it. And you're just kind of left there like, guys, what the fuck are you doing? Ammo racking, it it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Like, in terms of actual ammo cook-off, not really. But there's other ways you can one-shot tanks, depending on the caliber of what you're using and whatnot. But War Thunder is definitely more in-depth. Sorry, I'm blanking on where to find my damn markers and whatnot. Rally point. I need some arrows. And then I need 
some uh, objective markers and whatnot. So blue four HQ. I'll mark that out, and then we'll mark that out as a blue four garrison. And then we'll make them look pretty. And I'll set this on 70. Gives those zones a nice little border. All right, and then I'll mark some clear markers on that with some basic markers here, if I can find them. I think it's literally just called a marker marker, though, yeah. Thing. I need some destroy markers too. And then, yeah, we'll set that up. Oh, so I'm trying to think what else. You know, I was going to interact with chat tonight. I think I'm not going to interact with chat tonight. That's, uh, yeah. Didn't need to read that. I definitely did not need to read that. Mm, yeah. It's, uh, that's a tough one, dog. <laughs> I don't think I need to read that one anymore. <laughs> to know for me dog anyway gonna put a few infantry groups in here i'm not gonna auto patrol them i'll do that in zeus because it's a lot easier classic sniper in the bell tower though i mean yeah you always gotta put a sniper in the bell tower it's a world war ii op we're gonna put a radio guy in there and i am totally where's the sniper yeah there we Crouched pathing. Now, I have a really interesting idea. This may or may not work, but I'm probably going to put a mortar or two up here. And I know what you're thinking. Liru, it's artillery. Like, what, what are you thinking? That's going to get the player base killed. Yes. Where's the artillery? <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just going to... Yeah, and then to feed them targeting data, we're just gonna, yeah, have them join the front line. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a tough one, Chief. And then, honestly, would this be a nice op if there were no tanks? Like, let's let's put a few tanks around just to be safe. Uh, Tonk, what do we got in here? A panther, wow. Nah, we're gonna do a tiger. Yeah. Mmm, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a toughie. Put another one over here, yeah. need some trenches let's see what we got i think just the generic ones that i usually spawn with these are gonna be fine i just gotta find them yeah these yeah that'll do that'll do all right I 
think Panzer IVs are fine. You know, and then I can just literally copy and paste this trench into the other one. So let me just make the garrison and then call it a day. Just grab a generic squad. Put that on. The real trick about this is going to be getting some of the freaking slots to work and whatnot. But, you know, we'll figure that out. Or we won't. Yeah, where's the machine gunner? He's going to need to be point and center. What the heck? There we go. Jeez, didn't select him properly. I mean, those panels are basically meant to prevent shrapnel and small arms fire from damaging the tracks, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong, but pretty sure that's what those panels were for, because... ERA wasn't a thing yet, and that's meant to prevent against explosive damage. <laughs> Still. See, now I can literally just copy and paste this trench minus... Well, I mean, hell, even that module, and then I can just delete this and plop that down. Just gotta remember I can spawn any sort of QRF. I think some half-tracks would be nice, though. Just trying to think. Uh, do I want one or two? I think we can just do one. That's literally just APC half track and then throw that down on the road. Got her fuel so she doesn't barrel off ahead and, you know, help overwatch that open field. I think everything else here should be fine. Again, we'll set the garrisons going, but now the real fun part is how do I set the players to not insta-die immediately? And I think the best answer for that is I need some landing craft. So if we type ship, I don't find anything, so we need to use boat. There we go. We got some LC. We got a few different types of landing assets here, so... We have that one, we have this one, which I'm not gonna lie, I think from range would actually be a pretty decent vehicle to utilize, so we'll at least put one of those in the harbor. Uh, we don't wanna use the winter very, uh, I guess. No, we've got normal ones. So across the way, we'll put it like right here. I'll cut her fuel, and then I don't need the sideway facing gun that's away from the player base. And I guess the right one the first time. That usually never happens, but cool, I'll take it. And then we can take the British one. And this is where things are going to get complicated. Because we're about to play with various damage models that don't like to make sense sometimes. And you know what? That's A-OK. -okay. So we're going to set that. I'm going to set this guy to force hold fire careless. And then I need to actually give him move waypoints because this is this is where things get funny. But first, let me check to see how much I can put of every squad. So if I were to copy you two and put you in. Two squads. Okay, so it's literally going to have to be like one per squad. Huh. Yeah, that's going to be funny. All right, first off, let me take Zeus and put him over yonder because he needs to be out of the way. That's me. Boom. So I need five votes. <laughs> oh, boy. Well... All right. Now, if I do a move order with you... Will that copy over to the other ones and make my job a little easier? Just ignore the fact that there's grenades uh, in the certain places. Uh -huh. One, two... And they just slowly start floating. That's cute. Alright, we'll get them back in the water.
And then we literally just assign one to one in terms of squad and everything. Set respawn. Ship one, ship two, and then future respawns. I'm literally just gonna put on others. I'm only gonna do three. What are the odds of all of them blowing up? Don't answer that question. <laughs> We're going to do three, and then if, if worse comes to worse, I'll freaking get that set. But let's get that deleted. Uh, I want two of these because these have guns, and they're fun. Oh, God, who gave that man access to the Discord server? <laughs> We're in trouble, Chief. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead, go back to the move marker. And then these are pretty much providing machine gun support as shit kicks off. So... You know, I'm, I'm sure things will be fine. The only real way to test it is to uh, game master and run it, but, you know... <laughs> I'm a little scared to test my creation. Okay, grab it. Module, just have to tab out, go to Steam, copy a bunch of numbers, put them in. Uh, attribute settings. Let me go to medical real quick, because this is where I'm going to be a bit mean. Uh, yeah, you're getting set to five. And... Always. Multiplayer, set that to five seconds. Now the really fun part is I forgot to set this proper. Oh my god. How hard is it to click boxes? Tributes playable. Get in hold. Land? How we just do a transport upload? Okay. They have a scripted one. That's cute. Uh, transport upload. And we'll see if this works. It very well might. It very well might not. I think they have to be like right beach but you know I'm, I'm sure things will be fine uh well there's only one way to test it and that is to tab in and to grab some stuff so give me a second copy all these fine commands paste them in here attributes general make sure everything's set to aggressive okay uh i want some planes though Very limited. I can only do air cobras. All right, that's fine by me. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Probably a lot, but hey, let's just let her rip. 
Yeah, squad one, Bren. Let's let's just see what happens. So if I set this right, the AI drivers should just drive us in. But you know. Let's go edit that real quick. I was trying to give a guiding waypoint, but I think first off we can spawn a little, a little closer. Then we can get rid of all of those and just have them head directly in. Yeah. Okay. Try that again. No one blew up. I mean. The planes blew up, they're supposed to. I mean, right off the bat, though, if I were to respawn... Oh, no, 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 no. I think this gunner killed himself. Tell him to take the driver's seat and go. Jesus Christ. And then as we go through, all the things will be respawning and whatnot. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, those all work. because I'm stuck in the boat. Oh, some of the squad infantry came down. That's interesting. Everything else debug-wise, I think we're fine. So uh, I'm going to remove that squad up there because they just run down and I don't need them to do that. But I think everything else is fine for this mission file. I'm just going to outright tell them, though, hey, like... Excuse me. If one of you wants to grab the driver's seat and go, <laughs> feel free to grab the seat and go. I'll manually pat those guys when they get close. 
Oh boy, hiccups. Uh, honestly, I think that's meant to be a uh, one of these. Let me do one more check, though, on all garrisons. I think we had the garrisons fine, but... Go for it, kind Nesso. See what happens when you type in the Honeypot channel. I'll give you a hint, it gives you honey. So right off the bat, one, let's get all these guys squatted up, and I want them lowered a bit more for that, you know, cinematic flyby. Uh, I really hope they don't just hit the damn seawall, but I'm not going to lie, that'd be pretty funny if they did. Uh, and then I'm just going to give them a move order. I'm sure nothing bad will happen, right? Yeah, they spawn on the edge. All right, let's let's just do. Let's see what I get here. Right off the bat. It looks good. They got the second wave of planes. Right? Planes for the immersion. This is important to me. All of these will be filled except potentially the one all the way in the far left. Those two have a squad in them already because that's just for some extra fill-in. Hmm. Can I script one to crash? Give him a sleep command and then set his health to like zero at 15, but I think it's more funny to watch them get shot out as you're kind of driving in because that's meant to give you something cinematic to watch and you can see the tracers coming in. But what I forgot to mark was the ammo caches, and those also become respawn points when they're cleared. So let me get those marked. And I'm gonna use orange. Orange, glad I didn't say yellow, because yellow would not appear on this shit at all. Yeah. Again, this will probably last an hour tops. It's, you know, breach the town, seawall, destroy those two AA positions, move to the rally point. Should be nice and easy. Need advice for building bases like hidden bases custom? What do you mean in what game, BL? Armor 3? Oh, damn, Cobalt. How you doing? Long time no see. Just building something cinematic right now, but I think we're roughly done with this mission file, to be perfectly honest. Like, there's nothing else that needs to be added to it. We just have a really nice cinematic go in. And whatever happens, happens, and I just, you know, if the mines go off and blow people up, they go off and blow people up, but we got both flybys in, and it should be good. Uh, BLWH, so, camo netting? However, you gotta make sure that, um, if you're running any custom thermal mods, that the camo nets don't appear on thermals, because sometimes they do, it, it's weird. That's what I learned when I was using for Karmica, it's just, sometimes that shit happens. 
Uh, but really, especially if you have Deformer, Deformer would be your go-to, but it does take a massive amount of time. It's a gigantic pain in the ass to make work, but it would work. Uh, the hydration check is water. When the hydrate is in quotes, then it's, uh, <clears throat> another clear liquid. Let me get that saved and export one more time, then we're going to switch mission files. All right.